<laughs> so you guys know basically what the deal is if I'm coming at you guys from my car I'm going thrift book shopping today I'm at another Goodwill bookstore location so we'll see what we find I just got here and I'm here to explore I don't know if they're gonna have as much selection as the last Goodwill I went to but this does say it's a bookstore so let's go ahead and head inside and see Guys, this is a good sign. This is what we're looking for. There's so many books. Oh look, I already see a book that I like. Where the crawdads sing. They have books over here. And there's some over there, which we'll hit over there in a second. Alrighty. Let's see. First, I gotta look for Stephen King. We've got some Dark Tower stuff here. Mm -hmm. And then we've got... Oh, have all these on this oh, wow, yeah. Oh, sweet, they do. Oh, you got a good eye, bro. I already have all these, but $2.99. Yeah, for hardbacks? Yeah, that's such a good deal. Yeah, we've got some The Wastelands. There's another Dark Tower, Dark Tower. Dark Tower, and then this is like a, these two are like compilations of short stories, and then you have Tommy Knockers. It's like a lot of like uh, library books. Yeah. Donated. Which I don't mind. I kind of mm -hmm. like that. Just have the extra dust dropping. Mm-hmm. I kind of like to see who's checked him out. I'm gonna start over here. Yeah. Start from the beginning. Hey, they've got the Beatles, April. The insider story. Ooh. The love you make. Juicy. <laughs> yeah. This is kinda cute. Hey, okay, they've got Crazy Rich Asians. And then they've got Crazy Rich Asians. I might grab this one. I was gonna get it from Book Outlet. Book. If I, I get it, from, do you? Mm -hmm. You like this book, right? It was entertaining. I like this copy. I started reading the um, what's Octavia Butler, the one Kindred. I started that one last night. Starts off good. It's like really it's good. yeah, it just immediately gets into it. What are they? These are like all the Ian Fleming's, like the James Bond books. Okay. Like, it looks like they're all the same style, so it's like a set. Mm hmm They look so old. Yeah. Oh yeah, the man with the golden gun. Oh, these are 1964. so 1964. Cool. These are cool, see. April. I know, huh? They have, these are pretty famous ones too. Yeah, yeah this one I've heard of. Thunderball. From Russia with Love. The man with the golden gun, yeah. They're really cool. Yeah. For the first time in paperback. You said what year they were? I think this one, well this one's 64. I'm assuming they're all probably. 1960s? Yeah. 60 cents each. 65. Six? This is for 66. Okay. The FCs is 60 cents each. Oh wow. Cute, huh? Yeah. Those are pretty cool. Uh huh, they are really cool. Everyone last time when we were talking, was that book you bought that was a, a something year gold? Oh, uh, the year of blur. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone was like, that is not a feel good book. Oh, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> they were like, that's kind of it's heavy. Like a, yeah, it's supposed to be a memoir, so I guess. Yeah. Wait, I just, I think I bought the first book of this. Wait. Oh, yeah. I have Red Queen. Is this, I wonder if this is the follow-up. Let's see. Ouch. Look at all the Hannibal. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> 
I just bought like a used copy of that and it wasn't even hardback. Which one? Um, I bought um, oh, yeah, Silence of the Lambs, so it's actually not even these. Oh. Hannibal's the first one, right? Uh, I think Silence of the Lambs is the first one. Well, actually, I don't know. That might be a, Hannibal might be the prequel to that. I'm not sure. I think that Silence of the Lambs came out first and then he made the prequel, right? Right. And then the Hannibal Rising was the third. Are, like, prequels to Silence of the Lambs? I'm not sure. Right. Look how old this one looks. It's just the, I guess it's just this looked old, but it's okay. Um, what is it, Gone with the Wind? Yeah. No, thanks. Joe Hill. I'm assuming this is not, oh, it is. Um, Stephen King's son. Mm -hmm. Wicked. Here's some Neil Gaiman. I started the audiobook of this and then couldn't get into it. Yeah. Oh, I just bought another Stephen King. I'm gonna put this one up here. That's gonna bother me. <laughs> I kind of wanted to reread this since everyone mm. is reading it again. I mean, I get the idea behind the book, and yeah. I think it's, yeah, it's like very somewhat relevant. Yeah, but I don't know. I just didn't really enjoy the book in general. Maybe because I read it for school. Yeah, I actually remember liking this book in school. I like this and Catcher in, Catcher in the Rye or Pocket Full of Rye. One of those. I remember actually liking those is I like Lord of the Flies too actually I didn't mind the assigned reading <laughs> uh, I didn't like assigned reading and a lot of times we would read books that I had already read and enjoyed and then we read it in class and it made me not like it yeah Goodwill. This one's just a normal Goodwill, and we're gonna see if they have books. It looked like they did on their pictures. Bonk. So we're at this other bookshop. I don't know um, what kind of books we're gonna find, but I've never been to this one. It looks really nice online, so I'm excited to go check it out. It is a bookshop, so they'll have books unlike the last place we were at, which didn't have books. <laughs> There's almost, almost too much to look at. Yeah, well, I see K's over here, coons. Usually they're kind of, or coons. Sometimes they're by each other. But I don't see any. Oh, wow. Like the stars version, I guess. I see that on everyone's bookshelf. Here's the 
there's mystery. Let's see. Lots of hardbacks. Here's K. No, I didn't. Did I just look past it? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's probably why I didn't see it. Yep, looks like all paperbacks. Yeah, exactly. A couple dark towers. They got a couple of the serial novels of the Green Mile. Did you know that the Green Mile came out like this? In serial format? There were six parts. Yeah, I'm not sure. I see they've got archaeology and cultural studies, so maybe I could see if there's any cool folklore books. I always like looking for those. Egyptian myths. Interesting. Oh, I like Vince Flynn. He's got some good books. I saw these Stephen Kings. Looks like there are some hardbacks. I see Cell from a Buick 8, The Dark Half, Dreamcatchers, Another The Dark Half. I do have all those. And some of them are missing dust covers or dust jackets. They do have some Stephen King. Nice. I read this book. This is actually like a fiction by Brad Metzler, which it was okay. Have you read this book, Nine Perfect Strangers? Oh, no, I've seen it though. It says, oh, same author as The Big Little Lies. some Robert Jordan of course <laughs> talking about science fiction of course they do some George R. R. Martin yeah eventually I'd like to read that just like I'd like to read um Robert Jordan and the whole Wheel of Time series. <laughs> it's a it's an undertaking. I still have to get through the Dark Towers before I get to even think about that. Oh wow, look, they have all kinds of like older looking books. Or actually old books, what am I talking about? <laughs> mythology up there and gotta see if there's anything up there I see that I don't have anything similar to of course it's at the top it's all kinds of old classics here well I didn't end up buying anything they had a ton to pick from I just I didn't want to buy books just to buy books I did pick a couple up from the Goodwill but not here or the last Goodwill we went to obviously but anyways I'll show you guys what I bought once I get to a more secure and quiet location. <laughs> my car broke down, so now I'm getting towed. <laughs> Thank goodness my sister was here. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys when I'm home. But this was a odd series of events. I just realized I never showed you guys what books I ended up buying when I was editing this video because I had a little car drama. So I just got these two. I got this one from Carl Sagan. I have one of his other books. It's more about skepticism though. This is actually about the cosmos. <laughs> and then this copy of 1984, because I want to do some readings of some classics. So those are the two books that I picked up.
you guys seem to really like these shop with me videos. So let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want to continue seeing these or if I should make more of them. And as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, family, hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.